currently on the screen is another look at Tropical Cyclone Hodder's life. This is one of two satellite views. And looking back, uh, Tropical Cyclone Hotter didn't reach Category 5 status on the Australian scale. This update is being done by the uh, Force 13 Australia Oceana Channel on Sunday the 11th of March 2018 whilst uh, Tropical Cyclone Hotter is continuing the track towards uh, New Zealand it is definitely a weakening Located near 29 decimal 5 degrees south, 173 decimal 7 degrees east. Located about 288 nautical miles east of Kingston Island. Has tracked southward at 18 knots over the last 6 hours. Intensity is around 55 knots. Upper level analysis shows significant vertical wind shear affecting the system due to a developing short wave trough just to the west. Sea surface temperature in the region around 25 degrees Celsius decreasing rapidly as it continues its poleward track along the western edge of a deep layered subtropical ridge to the East. Tropical Cyclone 12S is quickly transitioning into a cold core extratropical system and will complete the process in the next 12 hours. Now here's a look at the, uh, the final uh, floaters on the system. The final track chart from the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre, the New Zealand Met Service. Heavy rain, a gale force winds for the north and east of the North Island on Monday. Tropical cyclone Hona centred over the waters near 27 decimal 1 degree south, 173 decimal 2 degrees east at 7am New Zealand time. It's expected to move south eastward today. I think that information is slightly out of date. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre had it tracking south. Auckland excluding Great Barrier Island. Uh, rain is expected to develop early Monday morning with some heavy falls and easing in the evening rainfall accumulations may reach short duration warning amounts for example 60 millimeters in nine hours now we have a look at the final tracks and this is available on the tropical tidbits website and whilst uh, tropical cyclone hotter is now weakening and heading down into the New Zealand region. We have two tropical systems in the Indian Ocean. Here's a look at the total accumulation or uh, precipitable water. This is available on the uh, Pivotal Weather website. We also have uh, a developing 
uh, tropical low which is in this 90p and considering I'm here on the east coast that is a priority uh, item on the radar for the AU channel now here's uh, pressure and wind in knots and you can see the Ives 90p the AU channel will be focusing on uh, this particular system we could also see another one coming in from the Solomon Islands one to the north of Darwin And this time uh, next weekend I could be uh, experiencing a tropical cyclone but it's far too early to say. Here's the uh, uh, total precipitable water. This is the current uh, position of the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. You can see uh, Ives 91S, 99S and the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre in the next uh, 6 to 12 hours should come on board, reinvest on 90. It is to track into the coal sea. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.